The operation of an electronic moisture meter is fairly straightforward. At the heart of it, it's got two circuits that work like a seesaw or teeter totter, depending on where you're listening. At the core of this measure uh, instrument, there's a 9 volt battery. The 9 volt battery has two terminals, positive and negative. One of them is connected to this probe and the other one is connected to the other probe. I don't know which one. So that's one part of the circuit. The other part of the circuit is connected to this selector knob and uh, there is a series of resistors, electrical resistors here that are corresponding to the 6%, 7% and whatever settings on this instrument. The highest resistance it corresponds to the lowest moisture content because the lowest moisture content is conducting the least amount of electricity that's why there is the highest resistor here and then a little lower resistor a little lower and on this side of the things where the highest moisture content is being determined that's where the uh, that's where a resistor is found with the lowest resistance so that's this part of the circuit when the unit is powered on the resistance here between the probe between these two probes is infinitely great okay because air really the relative humidity in air is not really a great conductor so electricity flows through the resistor that's being selected whichever whichever is the case okay it's going through the biggest resistor the smallest or smaller whatever it, whatever the uh, selector knob is set if the resistance is lowered here between the probes then whichever resistor here is selected is not going to be part of the circuit because the electrons from the batteries uh, negative terminal can complete the journey through my finger or through a piece of wood or uh, whatever contains moisture uh, they can they can complete that journey and it's uh, and that's the path of least resistance okay that means that those electrons are now traveling and they are energizing my finger if it's traveling in a piece of wood there is the same thing all right that light bulb that red LED uh, goes out because the electrons are not going through it the electrons are going that way they're not going through this part of the circuit all right so that's how this one goes uh, if the if the setting is set to 25 and I know the moisture content in in this one is less than 25 you see there's not enough water content and there is not enough dissolved minerals in the water for the electrons to complete that journey. The path of least resistance will be through the little resistor that's set in a, on, on, a, on a motherboard or a printed circuit board <coughs> to uh, this selector knob setting and the, and the circuit that lights up the red LED the electrons make the journey that way not this way because that's the path of least resistance <clears throat> alright so that's how it works it's fairly straightforward